speak to you today is about the adherence of treatment in diabetes. As you all know, diabetes is a lifelong disorder and it requires regular treatment. What is also very important is that we should maintain a regularity of food habits and regularity of medicines. The few points which I want to highlight is that medicines should be taken properly in the time prescribed. One should have a regular food habit and one should go in for regular monitoring of the disease. Since this is a controllable disease and not a curable disease, diabetes is required to be controlled. And how do you do it? Like the four steps in a chair, you require a proper balance to maintain a sitting position. Similarly, diet, exercise, regularity of medicine and concomitant regular checking of the blood sugars are very important. Now it so happens that sometimes people take the uh, monitoring part very casually. So I would like to augment that one must be very much careful in regular checking up of the blood sugars. I would like to discuss about the care of feet in diabetics. Now amongst all things, particularly for the diabetics, few areas need to be looked into with great detail. One is like examination of the eyes and two which I want to stress out here is the care of your feet. Now as you all know, the feet is the most important part to make ourselves moving on the earth. Therefore, right from a child who starts walking Till we go to our graves, we have to use our feet for our day-to-day -day earning and day-to-day -day movement. Now diabetics, as you all know, land up with a condition which is known as neuropathy, which means it is a disease of the nerves that results in lack of feeling sense of the patient. Patient is not able to assess the different senses which our body is supposed to identify. I will give you an example. You go to meet a newborn baby you do a pinching of the hands or something he or she will remove her hand why that is because of the pain sensation it goes to the brain the brain identifies that that hand is being hurt so he or she including the baby who has not been taught will remove the hands now in diabetics the protective sensation of the nerves is lost this results in body not being able to identify the trauma which occurs I have seen patients where a nail has pierced the shoe and it has gone inside the feet. The patient has not been able to identify. I have seen patient where patient is lying on the ground, a mouse or perhaps a rat has bitten into one of the toes and patient is unable to apprehend the pain. Now diabetics are blessed with the condition in which the pain sensation is this. But the drawback of this is in case the patient has some amount of trauma, body is unable to identify. What is very important is the diabetic should regularly self-examine their feet. They should keep their feet clean, use proper footwear and perhaps use a, a small mirror to check the undersurface of the feet. This would go a long way in identifying any small fissures or crack or any cut which the patient is unable to apprehend. Therefore, my advice to all diabetics would be to look in their feet regularly, perhaps more important rather than looking into the mirror for their faces and for their facial beauty. I would suggest let them look into their feet beauty also. Hypertension that is high blood pressure in diabetic subjects. As you all know, diabetes is a very common disorder in our country. And if one looks into the statistics of the diabetics, a large population of them do have a concomitant hypertension. Hypertension, as you all know, is recorded by a sphygmomanometer, or in other words, a blood pressure machine, in an office or at home. And it's important to document 
a high blood pressure level. The normal blood pressure level is around 120 oblique 80 millimeter of mercury. Now it is often observed that in diabetics the blood pressure goes up due to any reason. Now there could be two possible reasons. One, it could be as a secondary cause, secondary to some of the complications of diabetes. And two, it could be essential hypertension in which no definite cause is found. Now the main management of hypertension is regular lifestyle modification, which includes reduction in the total sodium content. As you all know, Indians do consume one of the highest amount of salt in our day-to-day -day food habits. Now I have been to certain places in uh, very remote areas, particularly the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. I have met some of the local people out there. They have a very low amount of salt consumption. It is also there in evidence that the African people have very low salt consumption and also the blood pressure level is less. Therefore, for people who are having high blood pressure, it is important to reduce their salt intake, increase their uh, fruits and also do some amount of regular exercise. Along with this, medications are also required to control hypertension, which goes a long way in preventing heart disease, kidney disease and eye disease. The importance of exercise in our day-to-day -day activities, particularly in diabetics. Exercise, as you all know, plays a very important part in maintaining the homeostasis of the balance of nutritional requirement of the body. Now, a regular exercise helps not only in maintaining the body weight, but also in improving the insulin resistance. Diabetics, as you all know, have insulin resistance. What is insulin resistance? In a diabetic, insulin is secreted, but initially there is something which is known as qualitative defect. Insulin is secreted, but the quality of insulin is inappropriate. Over a period of time, this results in overstimulation of the pancreatic beta cell. The body starts secreting more insulin. Over a period of time, there is apoptosis and there is death of the beta cell. Body goes into a situation where it secretes less amount of insulin. To begin with, in insulin resistance, there is qualitative deficiency. Ultimately, it ends with quantitative deficiency. In such a case, the body lacks insulin, in which the patient is usually advised to take an injection of insulin. Therefore, the importance of regular exercise, now that depends on the amount of physical ability you have. Our general advice mm -hmm. is, 150 minutes per week which can be divided on 30 minute schedule for five days two days can be taken off on in between therefore my advice would be to go in for regular exercise at a pace in which one is able to actually sustain The role of diet in diabetes. Diabetes as you all know is a chronic disorder which manifests with a high blood sugar level. Now in order to control that properly what we require is a very judicious diet along with medication and regular exercise. Now to come to the diet, now our diet is designed as for the activities we are normally accustomed in taking. For somebody who is having a sedentary habit working in office or a homemaker, he or she would be requiring a reasonable amount of diet. Somebody who does very extensive work would require a larger amount of diet. Similarly for the growing children, the total amount of diet which is expressed in kilocalories per day is usually calculated as per the ideal body weight. Now diet comprises mainly of three portions that is carbohydrate, protein and fat. Now it is very important to say that we Indians normally take good food but perhaps cooked in a wrong fashion. The amount of oil and fat which we use in our diet is more than what is required. Therefore my advice would be to have a prudent use of oil and fat along with good amount of green leafy vegetables 
ample amount of fruits and some amount of dairy products along with carbohydrates.